<clears throat> so, <clears throat> too bad I really couldn't go live at the park like I wanted to, which was really some crazy shit. It's awkward when, now a park is a park, let me just start there. A park is a park and everyone is welcome. You never know who you're going to see. You never know who's going to be there and so forth. But you know, it's really awkward when you see at least 60% of the motherfuckers that follow you on a day-to-day basis. They're at the park as well. And they all seem to be riding past. And who are they looking at? Yours truly. Myself. Um, you know, they want to rev their engines and speed through the parking lot. Or they um, parking behind me so I can't get out. Which, you know, at that time when they would park, I wasn't planning on leaving anyway. But typically, it can be enough stuff just to irritate one individual. You know what I think the most hurtful part of this whole situation is truly the fact that a lot of people who I thought were friends weren't friends. A lot of people who I may have grown up with or went to school with aren't the same. You look at an individual and they practice this character of being caring, loving, kind, truthful, loyal. Every aspect of honesty that you can think of. And when you find out that they participate in these acts, boy, oh boy, does it bring out a whole nother character of a person. Being a targeted individual, it's really not easy. You are tested to the fullest every single day of your life from the time that you wake up until the time that you decide to close your eyes you are tested you are disrespected verbally abused socially abused any form of discomfort is abused I mean, you name it. It is a part of your life. Every morning I wake up. And it may not come straight to my mind, but. The first feeling I get is. When is it going to be over? You know, when will people respect me as an individual? When will people consider that I have feelings too? But no one cares. You know, you see couples like this. And they typically walk around 
all happy and go lucky, but really, really, they're one of the ones that are conflicting in part of this shit. So you gotta wonder, like, how could a couple that look so happy be a part of something that's so evil? And it happens. It's always the ones that you least expect. So you have to be very vigilant on who you fuck with, who you open up your heart to, who you confide information in, who you let into your home, your car, everything. You have to analyze everything. Nothing is to be taken for granted. Nothing is to be taken for granted. It sucks because I am the same person, but at the same time, I am not the same person. <laughs>